Hey there, welcome back to Apex Legends. I was browsing through Twitch the other day when I when I stumbled across a certain bumbling buffoon that had forgotten to uh, get rid of his vods. Doesn't this man know that there's people out there trying to trying to steal his tech, trying to steal his information? I don't think he does. Or the arrogant fool simply doesn't care that he's got people coming for his ass that we're gunning that we're all out here gunning for him today i'm featuring his watson front and center and uh i'm going to be taking a look at what this so-called apex predator does to win his games he's playing here today with enoch and panic apex and you know, with all that said, thank you for joining me. And let's get into this. And so the wild thing is, I was like, hey, let's get into this. And then I thought I should check my audio. And then I forgot to start recording again. So I lost like an hour of footage. Well, that's cool. That's cool, Alex. Good job. But, uh, you know, here we are. So we got we got them playing on Broken Moon. Last game, they dropped it uh, Breaker Wharf. I don't know if that's going to be like a consistent thing they're going for or if they're going to like kind of move around a bit. But, uh, you know, I'll just have to wait and see what happens. Kind of looks like it. Wait, no, it doesn't. Oh, wait, now sorry, they're dropping on literally the other corner. Sosa, of the map. thanks for the 15 months, dude. Holy fucking shit. Oh, good job, Sosa. Thank you, man. I fucking love you. Yeah, so they dropped. They're contested. The other team's contesting like the, the front wall of Foundry. They're like. Generally, they're probably not going to try to let this contest go on too long. They're just probably going to end up running at this team here. Taking space if they're not holding good enough angles. Walk up. Thanks, Bray. Of course, man. Yeah, he's looking to walk up, take space wherever he can. Gets on the roof. There's a team inside, it sounds like. Or, like, at least one inside. Yeah, he's just keeping eyes on them. He's like, he wants to take space and he wants to make sure that he's got like vision on what the team is doing, but he's not going to start an engagement until his teammates are like a bit closer to finish looting or they're starting to head over. 63. One might climb up on the roof, by the way. Careful. From the right side. They were split. I hear it. On this double, the double door. Rev 36, white. Rev low on the one. 40 health. He's, no. He has four health then. Another team, go back to the main building. Uh, that guy's terrible. Are we going back? I'm going back to the main building, yep. That's a knock, that's a knock. It's with the -star. Yeah, we should third then, we should third. So they got ready to run. Staying, like, close enough to the fight that they can still come back to it. And then the second they see that a knock happened on the kill feed and like with the shots, they're just immediately ready to run back in. Because after that knock, the first team, or like the team that got it, is probably going to be trying to be more aggressive now. And they're probably going to have taken some damage. I need heavy energy pretty bad. I re knocked. 63 on the box. 42 flesh. 19. There we go. Really great play. I see why you like this gun on triple take. I mean, Damn. yeah, no, they just come back into third party of the fight. And then they're, I mean, they reset. They come back into things as the third party, and then you know, the other team just isn't ready for them. They just find free picks while people are distracted with other people, and get a bunch of damage out. Pretty clean wipe. Okay, so looking at what's going on, there's two teams that are probably going to hit each other like in this pass. Like, this is the either a duo or the two solos remaining from that fight they ran into earlier. I don't think they wiped either squad. Uh, you can't really go either of these ways safely because you're just liable to get third-partied. So I think they're going to want to rotate up into this pass, like, early. Like, honestly, deep circles just open. This is probably... Like, if I had to guess, it looks like the circle's pulling, like, this way. Which means it's going to end, like, on this side of the map. That's a really good... This is a straight line, by the way. So I feel like what I would want to do is try to, like, zoom up to this pass as fast as I can. Maybe try to rescan while I'm here to see what's going on. Like, what happened. And then from there, see what to do next. The only alternative play is to try to, like, come in on the cultivation team. 
and then try to slow play the flight or try to slow play the fight and bait like this team into third partying from like up in these buildings somewhere but the big downside to trying to do that is that this team if these are two solos is pretty likely to third party through the pass so i feel like the safe play is just to run up grab evo rescan and then probably just run like straight through to terraformer because if you can it depending on what the rescan gives you you can probably just use this to get like up here maybe even rescan again for more evo like grab this on the way in and just head over to bio but it will depend on like where the circle starts pulling to after the ring one wow, great. Yeah, so they are going over to the other scan. They saw the there team, team over here. There was one guy here who was kind of split from his team on a different team near Cultivation. Was he? <laughs> I mean, kind of, sure, but they're all pretty close together. And they have, like, a decently free backup into the Terraformer Pass. Leaving <laughs> Yeah, no, that dude could be gone already. But if he's looting the buildings, this is probably a good call. He might be able to find a pick, start some shit little before little the Cultivation team can move over. An area. He's gonna want to rescan if he can. Oh, I see the opposition's rotating up the hill. That oh my god. The wall. Killable, dead. Okay, yeah, so they caught him out. They caught him trying to run back. I guess it does take longer than I think if he's not playing like a movement character. The big worry here is getting third partied by the cultivation team, but with this team down a man, they can like kind of force the pass to the northeast. Can't scan. I'm gonna pop that shit. Yeah, so the duo is now running through Atmo, and the Cultivation team left. It looks like the uh, the Hazmat team, uh, like, maybe they didn't go this way. Maybe they came, like, around. But that seems weird. I had to guess. They, like, went here and then grabbed the Evo and the scan and then came down because they see Cultivation's free now. This looks kind of like two people on one arrow, so that might be a team of three there. And the cultivation team doesn't sound very interested in the shots. They're just trying to get ahead of everything. Yeah, the, based on this scan, the rotation that I wanted to go for probably would have gotten cut off around here. And I would have ended up having to try to fight through that choke point with the cultivation team, like, right on my ass. So that probably would have been bad. They got more juice. They're scanning again. I think this will put them all on or around purple. Yeah, so the Cultivation team is wrapping all the way around behind them. I think that's the team that was in Underpass. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't just rotate through Quarantine. It seems like a really weird rotation. Also, I'm still not sure if this is a duo or if this is two solos running around, like, near each other. Like, maybe this dude's just trail on the first. So they're chasing the duo through. The circle is ending on Bionomics. Yeah, I guess the idea here was just that the team on the, uh... The team on the scan to the south of Cultivation was spread out enough that they can, like, try to find a pick, and then you get in a position where you're kind of chasing them down. They don't really want to... They don't want to try to take a 2v3 against you. So you get to kind of chase them through Atmo into whatever position you want. Knowing that a team's coming in behind them, they're probably going to let these teams, circ like, populate the circle. And they're going to hold, like, their backside of uh, Atmo Station. I think they're just going to, like, hold this area for this team make them want to go up this way instead. I can't imagine them, like, leaving Atmo and just, like, hard going for Bio right now. But it's also possible. I mean, knowing that this is, like, a soft team and that it looks like there's a fight going on up here or, like, something close to a fight going on up there, you could probably use this to try to find, like, the duo and find the kills and then get into an endgame position pretty early. Yeah, we should kill this team. Someone on this team is throwing, bro. They went to go for the Evo. <laughs> okay, I thought they were going to hold the building and, like, stop the team from getting into circle, but I guess they're being a bit more proactive. They're going to take all this space, like, in front of them over here. Going to take all this shit and then just stop, like, ideally they're going to get, like, right up to the pass and stop this team from coming in this choke at all. They might have to try to circle around, but even if they do go up this, this way, they're running into these people and you can still get ahead of them pretty easily. Yeah, they're getting right up to the choke to look for the team. We scanned them. But they don't know where it's turning around. Oh, they're, yeah, they're still, they're still gonna... One's right there. Yeah, they're still coming up. One of them's already at the right building, there. it looks like. They're trying to kind of team shot. 63? Spotted. Down here. Oh, yeah, that guy. Zero. He popped Rebel. 
He's gonna, he's gonna jump on him. 63 flash. I'm, help, I'm right next to you. Flash? Trying to help you. Uh, I'm back. No over shield. Holding for Enoch while he heals. Enoch jumps away. Batting. Probably just want to go back on top now. Yep. Teams have had time to get behind us. Yeah, they didn't get like an opening knock to actually int this team, so they're in a position where they have to like back up a bit more. You give space, and then when they're in their like next position where they have to run towards you, you just start shooting again. Just kite the team backwards. Cracked. 18. 30 seconds remain. 81. Are you good? I'm good, I'm good. He's zipping behind us. On me, I can set a zip to the main roof, guys. Getting ahead of them with the zip line. 80 purple, batting, or 30 purple. Oh, double purple, double blue, white. I mean, yeah, you know. You guys wanna find us? No, they're backing up, they're backing up. They're backing up, trying to go around. Like I said, it's not so much about I mean, I don't know if I said it, but it's not so much about just, like, killing the team as it is about discouraging them from coming in your, like, coming on your back. I need to go grab these points. I have a rule. If I have more than, if I have three or more bats, I don't use the crafter in case somebody That's a good dies. Rule. I usually just don't use I only use them if I'm, like, down bad. I got, like, no bats or something. Or it's where we landed. Yeah, a lot of the time I don't hit replicators for a similar reason. I just don't want to leave up. Like, I want to be able to buy cards more than I generally want most other items. But if I'm, like, empty on bats or something, leaving the POI I started in, then yeah, I mean, I'm going to craft one. Or if I know that, like, the uh, circle is pulling myself so far away from the POI that I'm not reasonably going to be able to get it. They got another pick. They're just, like, clearing in their side. Using the zip line for a quick rotate. I don't think I'd, I could place one better than that. We could, yeah. We kind of need to go into them anyway. Um, I'm not going to have a zip. Yeah, we probably should. Or, like, wrap to this building. I don't know if they can safely wrap to the no, building he no wants to. Between here and there is from. I'll have a zip. I'll have a zip. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got a zip. I have a zip. Okay, they're just going to the far uh, building so mine. You're going first, not... Not this heavy hunk of meat. I'm dead. Of course, yeah, that's tragic. Why did this hunk of meat just get focused, and why did Enoch take 20 damage? Nice. They might be able to turn it. The team's trying to end them. Half one. One's getting shot in the back. Yeah, yeah. Half is. Enoch got one knock on the opening, and the Pathfinder is fucking dead. dead. Nice, nice. Yeah, the other team tried to get a little bit too horny, and uh, Good job. but they didn't get horny in the same directions. So Enoch basically just got two one v ones on Revenant, which you know pretty huge. And then Watson just gets to come back up on the other Pathfinder. I mean, it was good of the team to try to push them out, especially after they got the knock on the Newcastle, but they just did not execute very well. This could have very easily. If that team had, like, played together, this would have very easily just been all three of them dead. But instead, uh, you know, they managed to turn it around. Got into, like, a good position to, like, make the team... in Like, so they got into a position where the other team had to push their building. It was only off the back of a zipline, but it's still, like, just enough that uh if that while they're taking space enoch can try to get a pick which he did manage to do and then because he managed to even the numbers and then because uh because it looked like the pathfinder was like panicking or trying to shoot down from the roof and enoch was playing the building it was like every player on the other team was together but just too isolated Good job. Good job, enoch. My teammates are... and they didn't even get the thirst on panic so they get the res i was, I was just the bait you know so they're in next circle position, like, and they're probably going to be in like circle a, for another uh, two. Line, like... Close, close. A bangle, free kill. KP, KP, KP. Seems like a rat. Three, three, three. 
Oh, right. They got him. They got him. I'm getting shot on my left. Oh, yeah, he needs help. Help, help him. Ash cracked. Ash low. Landed on our building. Yeah. They're getting. Right, plant side, plant side. They're getting into. Right, careful. Enoch managed to get his way back. Why do so many teams want this building? What the fuck? I mean, I guess they saw Enoch alone. So, like, the team on the uh, northeast side. So that they were just trying to get a pick on the rev. And then this team, I guess it's they see them fighting too far this way, and they come, like, for the fly-in on the circle position. Just play here. I don't have Q. I do not have Q. I have it in 10 seconds. Just John. John. We need to kill this team. You have Q? Walk forward with it? Uh, two seconds. We just walk I'm forward down. with it. I'm gonna nade them. Oh, wait. Nade. Walking them down. That's a nade. Nade. Watch the nades. Careful. Holy nades. shit. A lot of nades. I have good nades on them. Remainder on two. Hundred on two. Oh, baby. Shit on them. Shit on them. I gotta stop. Go back inside. Back inside. They push the other team off, got more KP, they back up, they're just holding their building down. No reason to like push anything because if you push anything, you're just gonna get thirded. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely seeing the Newcastle value. I don't know if this is, uh, I don't know if this has really changed my opinion on like support characters though. Like, it's hard to say. It's either, like, I think the best three support characters are Lifeline, Newcastle, Loba. And I think Lifeline and Newcastle are just better than Loba. And I think Lifeline still edges out Newcastle. But uh, but watching this is making me like kind of doubt that thought because there's a lot of situations that like they get into and that they're just capable of playing because they have the Newcastle walls and shield. Like I kind of fucked up my recording uh, when I was trying to do their game one, but they got second and they would have gotten first, but Panic got Kraber just before he got his shield down. And if he'd gotten it down, like they were playing from a terrible position, they would have been able to probably win the game. That was a very that might be a spot right there. You put an ult down there and we just chill on that. Yeah, I can. I would not jump there. Oh, careful. <laughs> if you want to like do a little climb up right there, see if you can mag a kid, and then I'll ult up to you. On the points. Oh, careful, we, don't, we can't fight. We can't fight here at all. Crack left line. Careful, guys. Where's the duo? I want to try to. Two of them are one over there. They're kind of. Are they aping that? I don't know, but you should probably drop your ult down here. Where at? Like in here? Um. Yeah. Maybe. Or... Probably right here. Like... Maybe like. Facing south? I don't know. Just put it down. Broken on left line. I feel like that's a very great ult. I think you you wanna wipe this? They have a knock over here. Get on him. That's a duo. I'm a high. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I don't Zip for you. The ability to. <laughs> oh my oh god. god. Jesus, god. Exploded. Path dropped on the right. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Pick him up, pick him up. Okay. Well. Did they like Petty you with a sentinel? Are you just like... Yeah, getting the pick was nice. Back, back. Like, what's the big problem back, back, back. here? Careful, guys. Where's the duo? Like, the high team should just win the game. Where at? Like, in here? But it doesn't look like they do yeah, because of how the match actually plays right out. Maybe like... Also, I mean, like, with the way they're talking about it, I feel like you just use the Newcastle ult to just cover the entire gap in front, no? Like, not on the inside side, but, like, just this outer edge, make it so that people can't really wrap on you safely. Where they're pinging it, it doesn't really make sense, but Facing I don't know. South? I don't know, just put it down. They have a knock up here. Get on him. That's a duo. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Like, you can't do this. Like, Watson can because he's got the movement. Enoch probably could have followed because he can jump out. But, uh, like, Panic can't come that deep. For you. And then Watson's just standing out in the open for too fucking long. Yeah, that team dropping is really fucking troll. 
Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Pick him up, pick him up. And then the other team just comes in for the third party off of whatever's happened. Like that team just fucking dies in the down under. Two top fives in a row getting that streak going. I mean, honestly, if you just if you play in a way that gets you top five every game, I mean, it's obviously easier said than done. But you play in a way that gets you top five every game, and you're like pretty much set for gains. Like I think it, if you once you get on the streak, I think you're probably just earning RP like straight up until you're probably until you're out of diamond. Honestly, I don't think the buy-in will get high enough to counteract it. But that's if you're getting straight top fives over and over again, obviously. Both of those games probably had ways that they could have won them. It's just not how it worked out with the with the way they ended up playing it out. Do they just go to Foundry or Breaker Wharf, depending on whichever one's at the end of the dropship? Because I feel like a lot of teams drop out of the ship, like, early enough that, like, I'd imagine the logic is that most of the teams are dropping out of the map early dropship. So if you're on the far side, you're probably on the least populated side of the circle and you can work in from there. I don't know if that's actually the idea, though. Another team challenging. The other team child same building. It seems really weird to 50-50 like this in ranked. Like, I kind of get it. If you're if you're committed to If you're committed to contesting a team anyways, you need the fight to end as fast as you possibly can. Like this is one problem that comes up where we drop we drop at divide a lot. And like just a consistent issue with dropping divide is like because of the way the POI is split, if the other team lands on the opposite side of you, you just kind of like, you get into a lot of stalemate situations. You kind of have to hope that somebody on the other team is going to try to cross the bridge on their own. And almost every single time somebody tries to do that, they just fucking die. You know? And then you just use like the numbers advantage to cross the bridge. I've been playing a Bangalore a decent amount, so you get to like smoke their top side. They're like, I don't know what they're doing. doing My swing off that, careful. But on low. Oh, dude, the rampage. I'm track. But on dead. The charged up rampage is disgusting. Yeah, they fucked that team up. They, they thought they were going to get damage off those nades. Some of them actually looked like they were going to do pretty good, but Watson did a good job of dodging both of them. And then just the charged up rampage on the two people trying to come through the door. That team was just fucked. Great shot. It seems weird, though. Like, the team went from hard contesting them to just kind of, like, backing off and trying to control the other side. And then Enoch gets their roof. And they're just... I'll go to this other... They're like, I don't know what they're doing. You wanna... My swing off that, careful. But on low. Yeah, they look out, but they just, get, they just get they just get kind of fucked up for trying. But I'm dead. When is speed lifeline? Oh, they're getting third party. Right here. That's right here. Reload this thing three times. They went roof. Careful, they might drop behind us. Can we go over here? Yeah. They drop. Getting someone else. I needed that. So there's like a fourth party coming going, going in on. on them as well. Right here, bait this guy! That's the... Behind you guys, path one, yeah. Open the door, open the... Oh, wait. I can't, I can't. I had that, I had two one. Bro, that's it's a two different team. It's two different teams, you know, I try to leave. They traded, though, yeah. but I try to leave. They you can, you can craft us here. Yeah, if they'd killed that Pathfinder, things might have played out differently, but, it, you know, unfortunate. Watson swings out, misses almost his entire clip. It happens. Enoch's kind of fucked here, but he might be able to reset. I landed back with... I kind of wish, like, I kind of wish you spawned with abilities. Like, it's really annoying that uh, whatever ability you have is on cooldown right out of drop.
Like, I'm just trying to think. Is there, like, a good reason for that? I only saw a Loba in a path. Maggie was it, like, a red there. path? No, I didn't. Uh, oh. This Rev just... I cracked Rev. He just... Wow. You want to try to go, Enoch? Leave, 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 leave. I don't think it is. Watson's riding pretty quietly here, but the the way this like I understand why Watson's a little confused. The way this rev rats him out is like he just like perfectly peeks where he is. It's like they know already. Be the team that was back there, right? Panic plays big on his building. Enoch just runs the fuck away. He just shit on him. I'm the best. He just shit on him back. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty close. Like uh, another, uh, like slightly better played, and he kills all three of them with that PK. Panic, hey, fuck that team up. Man, when the peacekeeper is hitting, is probably my favorite gun in this entire game to use. But, but the amount of times I pick it up three times and do fucking 27 damage is it's just like i can't do it man i can't do it in my brain although it does fucking hurt to miss an entire havoc clip as well uh, <laughs> he's not competing anymore so yeah he just gets weaker enemies in general equals his skill ceiling will fall yeah that's what you would think but dude i think rank is a better is better than people think it is I think it's better than people think it is, because when I when I won MVP at LAN, I didn't play any of the quals. I literally just played the LCQ, and then we didn't scrim. Like, I, and I just played yeah, ranked all day. So I don't know. I, I think I think ranked is a lot better than people think it is. To be honest. I think the big thing about ranked versus like ALGS, as far as like keeping your skill up, is that. In ALGS, like, nobody's fighting, like, people aren't fighting for no reason, you know? So you're not going to get just as many raw gunfights, and you're not going to get as much, like, specifically, like, specific mechanical practice out of the game. Like, they're, they're different enough skill sets, like, for the, uh, like, I'd say they're definitely different enough skill sets. Like, in ranked, in a team environment, the way teams are playing around each other is a lot more coordinated and you're going to get like a lot more you're going to get a lot more well thought out like coordinated team plays and in that sense like the it feels like the way things work out in ALGS is that it almost doesn't matter like how it, like it obviously does to an extent but it almost doesn't matter how individually skilled you are. It matters like how well you and your team are able to play around each other because like the amount of times you're going to be put in a position where you're in like if you're putting yourself in a position where you need to skill your way out of that position in ALGS, a team's just going to punish you and fucking kill you for it. Whereas in ranked you can do a lot more like ego stuff and you can do a lot more like individual like 1v1s or like you can just isolate targets a lot better and because you can do that it gives you more it helps it helps you train like your moment to moment decision making so i kind of get what he's saying but also like it's it's very different skill sets not in like not entirely different skill sets because there's obviously a lot that translates but there they are like like the way i've always thought about it is like in every elo like from low elo to mid elo to high elo to like to like entry level pro play to like the actual like highly rated comp scene they're all like everybody's playing almost like a different game and like high rated predator or high rated predator lobbies you're just um like maybe i'm talking out my ass but i feel like it's you're probably gonna run into a lot more like just random individually skilled players and that means that's what you're gonna have to like deal with and like fight and fight off a lot more often whereas in comp 
if people are trying to do that individualistic shit, it's just getting them killed most of the time. So it, that gets kind of like beaten out of people. I just think they're different skill sets. Like, you know, obviously, obviously there is translation, but I think the skills that you need to be like ultimately highly successful at both of them or like at either one of them are slightly different. Another thing about like this is going to like this is probably going to sound more like hope, but another thing about like really high rated ranked is that in like especially in FPS games, a lot of people are cheating even if like even if it's more like subtle ways or whatever, even if they're not like being blatant about it. There are like a decent amount of people up here that are just cheating. And so if you have to play against cheaters and you're consistently beating these people that are cheating, I mean, like, you kind of have to be on point to do so. Like, obviously, these players aren't going to be the most individually skilled players because they've got, like, fucking assistants that they're relying on. But because, like, they have this knowledge, you have to be able to outplay somebody, like, with wall hacks, you know? Like, maybe you don't know they have wall hacks, but if you're consistently beating people that do without them yourself... I mean, it's it's only going to be improving your game sense. I think it makes you self-sufficient. I think it's, like, really good for that. Yeah, like, that's a good word for it. Like like I said, it's your... In ranked, your individualistic play is going to matter a lot. Where it matters a lot less in comp, but it's not like... Like I said, like, the skills translate. It's not like it doesn't matter at all. Because, you know, obviously, being individually skilled is also very important, you know? Enoch just trying to live. Ooh, he's going for the turnaround jump. They were trying to cut him off, now he's going back down the hill. They gotta chase him. Enoch's getting the fuck out of there. Back the way you came this Naked PK? <laughs> just to the dome. Oh, but we got Thanks, a Kraber man. going down right here. We should definitely go for that. Oh, yeah. That'll bring us from down to up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're already up. Oh. Yeah, we're about to be top five. Are you they are in a position for it. We're about to be top five. One more squad. Oh wait, it's unlooted over here. Zip route onto us. From the zip route. Not there. We need to kill them before they take that. Yeah, they're... Right? Shoot. They're getting shot at by a new team. Makes like a light on their side. We can't stop them. They took it, yeah. Take it from them. They got it already. Trying to get this Kraber off of them on blues is going to be hard if they hit like literally anything. But the Wraith Portal starts in the open. No, no, I think that's a new team. Because the other guy ran like the opposite way. The portal goes right here, bro. When he takes it back. Bottom cracked 100. Nice. Nice. Oh, they're fucking this team. Another team. Yeah, it's that right. I'm batting. I don't know the medkit, guys. Why is there a lifeline on me? I know it's two teams, bro. Make sure on the back now. Who the fuck is that guy? There's a lot of people. Guys, group, group. I'm coming here. Nice. Kill that full team. I have a medkit. I have a medkit now. Hold the rev there. Anybody swings their back, I'll put my Q down. We just swing them together. Okay. I'm aping that guy. Yep. No over shield. 70 red. I got I on the headshot. I'm dead. Holy shit, he got clapped. There's a team on height. He needs help in here. Hey, I don't have Q. They're bottom. I died. Winnable. Pat's on me. He's on. He's M and K. Get that top five. Just a bit of a rack game for Enoch here. They keep trying to res and reset. That was pretty sloppily played. They definitely needed to like they were originally holding the roof, but once teams started like coming in, they just need to lock down one of those top buildings, wait for people to like kind of populate, and then work from there. Dang. I just got, he came back for his turn, I guess. <laughs>
Oh, you're going up in the cliffs. You rat too much. How do you... Can you go all the way up there? Oh, my God. Oh, you're what crazy. the fuck? You up there, though. They'll still walk you around were... the corner nah. framing you. You lose too much for this. What? Nah. Yeah, you... Falcons, <laughs> Falcons and this whole team was three men up here. Oh, uh, that's actually... I, I mean, definitely if you see it like that. Like, this is a fucking crazy spot, man. Yeah. When people Excuse when people know a lot of rat spots, that just means they suck. <laughs> nah, not, not when I show this, bro. I mean, hey, that's that third top five in a row. That's what they're playing for. The win is a bonus, right? Hide in plain sight. Think... No. Oh, dude, our cursors are touching. Oh my god, this is so cute. You just got shot at. There's no fucking. What is this? I think it was a stray bullet. Freak, bro. Wait, it's in that bush. Why was that Isn't so that slow? Kramer? You knock know, locking down that top three for him? Oh, there's no way. He's not gonna tell you. <laughs> this man is dead as fuck. No, bro. Like, what's there to learn here? They just get kind of no, surrounded. I think that's a new team. Because the other guy ran like the opposite way. The portal goes right here, bro. When he takes it back. There's two separated. They got some. Bottom like, crack picks under, Nice. Oh, nice. Damage. No they got team. picks, which is good, but another team starts coming in. I know it's two teams, bro. Make sure on the back now. Who the fuck is that guy? Group, guys, group, group. I'm coming here. Nice. Kill that guy. Guys, I have a make it. I have a make it now. Hold the rev there. Anybody swings their back, I'll flip my Q down. We just swing them together. Okay. I'm, I'm aping that guy. Yep. No shield. 70 red. I got. I mean, yeah, just getting sentinels on the back is kind of bad luck. I don't know, headshot. I'm dead. I'm coming to res. There's a team on height. He needs help in here. Hey, I don't have Q. They're bottom. I died. Winnable. Yeah, no, there's too many people start surrounding them. Like, they're trying to hold. They're trying to hold out people coming in. I guess they're going for the Kraber. I think that might be the mistake. Like, if you really want it, I think he has to, like, I guess he doesn't have it yet here. He doesn't get it until they're already, like, on the roof. Yeah, he doesn't get it till right now. Yeah, I just don't, I don't think you can get that Kraber. I, like, I know you kind of need it. Like, because they're already pretty far behind tempo, so you want to get somebody with, like, an actual gun. To try to, uh, to put you in a position for the end game that you can actually win. But... Where Enoch is, is like edge of circle. You can actually hold your sides. Like you can stop people from trying to come in on these sides. And then you have position to work in from whatever the circle does next. But when you take these buildings too early, like it's good to get space. But like especially in ranked, like a team will just try to fucking int you for your spot. And... Often, more often than not, it's not going to be one team. It's going to be that team and the team that hears the fight going on and the team that and like any other team that hears the fight going on. Like those buildings are just going to be a huge clusterfuck. Like, is there anything earlier? I mean, it's Enoch just ratting really well. Keeping himself alive, keeping the team alive. It's been really humid where I am lately and I've had like posters on uh, on stickers that have like, they're falling off my walls. I think it's because of the humidity, but I also could have just applied it really shittily. Probably the second one, honestly. Okay, take three at trying to fucking talk about one, like... So Watson gets ratted out. Panic and Enoch aren't really in a position to capitalize on the damage that he did. 
they know that they're kind of fucked based on like the way this team is playing up on them. And so Enoch runs away, gets ready to rat, and Panic just hard holds his building and plays big. Because if, depending on how much damage he can do, and depending on like how he can force this team to play, he can make them waste a lot of time and just like buy Enoch time to actually run away. No, no. Uh, <clears throat> and he almost won V3s, which would have been crazy. Other than that, I think it's just like kind of the chaos from the early game. They don't really have space to, uh, like they're not really in a position here where they can properly reset after the fight they get. They just get like third and I think fourth partied even. Then from there, it's just like a really good rack game from Enoch. Just plays his life really well, tries to bring them back. They can't quite get back on tempo here. And you know, like a really cool rat spot, good to know about. And he gets them another top five. Plus 98 though. You know, like, this is what I mean, right? Like, you don't need to, you don't need to win every game. But if you can top five every game, that's plus RP, baby. Anyways, life, uh, life seems to be getting a little bit hectic around me. So I'm probably going to end it on, like, the, I'd rather watch two or three games here. I think I missed one because of the, uh, because of a recording issue, but whatever. To anybody that's stuck around this long, thank you for joining me. Drop a like on the video if you wouldn't mind. I do like seeing that number go up. Speaking of numbers going up, I also like it when people hit that subscribe button. You know, just if you want to see more, you want to see more content like this. I've been doing, like, I've been doing VOD reviews of, like, this sort, and I've been, like, you know, playing the game myself on top of just, you know, whatever else I feel like recording at the time. Thank you once again for joining me. Have a lovely morning, noon, or night, and peace.